Dear students, myself, CMA Padmaja Budruk, I will be discussing few illustrations of the topic loss of stock. Go to study note number 2. I will be discussing illustrations from insurance claim. First, we will discuss how to prepare memorandum trading account when the stock as on the date of fire is not available. So, you are supposed to prepare memorandum trading account. It is for the period from first day of current accounting year to the date of fire. On the debit side, you have to write opening stock to opening stock. This is nothing but last year's closing stock to purchase less return to any other expenses like wages, etc. chargeable to trading account to gross profit. You have to find out gross profit by applying rate of gross profit sales multiplied by gross profit rate is equal to gross profit. So, you have to enter all these items on the debit side then credit side by sales by stock on sale or return if goods are sent on approval basis which are not approved by customer it is to be credited to memorandum trading account at cost price of such goods if goods are sent on consignment basis to consignee and if it is not sold by consignee then it is also to be credited to memorandum trading account as by stock on consignment at cost price. Now balancing figure is closing stock that is stock as on the date of fire. When rate of gross profit is not given then in that case you are supposed to prepare trading account of the last year find out gross profit and then work out gross profit rate or gross profit ratio which is gross profit divided by sales multiplied by 100. You are supposed to prepare some adjustment while preparing trading account of the last year as well as memorandum trading account of the current year for slow moving items, abnormal items etc. Sometimes opening and closing stock is not properly valued. There can be under and over valuation of stock. Then in that case also you need to make some adjustments. And then you are supposed to find out the amount of claim. This is nothing but take the book value of stock as on the date of fire which you get as balancing figure from memorandum trading account. From that deduct value of any stock saved or salvaged. Then you will get actual value of lost stock and that is to be claimed. If there is average clause included in the insurance agreement then you have to use a formula for finding out the amount of claim. Average clause is applicable if and only if the amount of policy is lesser than value of stock as on the date of fire. That is when there is under insurance in that case only average clause is applicable. So this is the formula which is to be used while finding out the claim when average clause is applicable actual loss of stock multiplied by policy value divided by value of stock on the date of fire. Now we will see illustration 29. X limited has taken out a fire policy of rupees 1,60,000 covering its stock. So amount of policy is 1,60,000. A fire occurred on 31st March 13. This is the date of fire, 31st March 30. Following particulars are available. Stock as on 31st December 12, 60,000. Date of fire is 31st March 13. So, you are supposed to prepare memorandum trading account from 1st Jan 13 to 31st March 13. Stock as on 1st Jan 13 is last year's closing stock which is 60,000. Purchases to the date of fire 2,60,000. Sales to the date of fire 1,80,000. Carriage involved 1,600. Commission on purchase to be paid at 2%. Gross profit ratio at 50% on cost. You are asked to ascertain total loss of stock. 
amount of claim to be made against insurance company assuming that the policy was subject to average clause stock salvage amounted to 41360 now we'll see how memorandum trading account is to be prepared in the books of ex limited memorandum trading account for the period ended 31st march 13 that is from 1st jan 13 to 31st march 13 to opening stock 60000 to purchases 2 lakh 60000 to carriage involved 1600 these figures are given to commission on purchase 5200 this is nothing but 2% of 2 lakh 60000 gross profit you are supposed to work out gross profit which is given to us gross profit ratio is 50% on cost that means if cost is 100 then profit is 50 and selling price is 150 cost plus profit so when selling price is 150 profit is 50 when sales are 180000 what is the profit that is how you have to work out gross profit which is 60000 so here they have added carriage inward and commission on purchases to purchases but you can write it separately as to carriage inward and to commission on purchase also then by sales this figure is given by closing stock this is balancing figure 2 lakh 6800 this is stock as on the date of fire balancing figure by closing stock stock as on the date of fire 286800 just now we have seen this balancing figure of memorandum trading account salvage stock was given which is 41360 it is to be deducted salvage stock is nothing but stock saved which can be sold as scrap so loss of stock is 165440 now policy amount is 160000 policy is lesser than stock as on the date of fire so this is the case of under insurance so average clause is applicable use the formula and find out the claim actual loss multiplied by amount of policy divided by value of stock at the date of fire actual loss is 165440 into amount of policy is 160000 divided by stock as on the date of fire 286800 so claim is 128000 now we'll see illustration 27 a fire occurred on 15th september 13 in the premises of sane and company from the following figures calculate the amount of claim to be lost with insurance company for loss of stock stock on 1112 40000 stock on 1113 60000 purchases in year 2012 80000 purchases from 1113 to 15930 this is from the beginning of the year till the date of fire they have given you purchases which are 176000 sales in the year 2012 last year sales 120000 sales from 1113 to 15913 that is till the date of fire 210000 during the current year cost of purchase has risen by 10% above last year's level selling prices have gone up by 5% salvage value of stock after fire was 4000 now here gross profit rate is not given so you have to prepare trading account of the last year find out gross profit ratio and then prepare memorandum trading account for trading account of last year you have to take opening stock which is given you have to take closing stock which is given you have to take purchases and you have to take sales of the last year find out gross profit and work out gross profit ratio trading account for ascertainment of rate of gross profit for the year ended 31st december 12 to opening stock 40000 which is given to purchases 80000 which is given 
buy sales 120000 which is given buy closing stock 60000 which is given to gross profit 60000 this is balancing figure now work out gross profit rate or gross profit ratio which is gross profit divided by sales multiplied by 100 60000 divided by 120000 into 100 gross profit ratio is 50% on sales now we'll prepare memo random trading account 60000 last year's closing stock will be considered as opening stock in memo random trading account memo random trading account from 1113 to 15913 to opening stock 60000 to purchases if you see the question purchases are given as 176000 from the beginning of the year till the date of fire but it is given that during the current year cost of purchase has risen by 10% above last year's level we are using last year's gross profit ratio so we'll convert these purchases to last year's rate so your purchases would be 176000 divided by 110 into 100 160000 these are the purchases taking into consideration last year's rate buy sales 2 lakhs now again see sales are given as 2 lakh 10000 from the beginning of the year till the date of fire and it is given selling prices have gone up by 5% so again we'll work out sales at last year's rate so 2 lakh 10000 divided by 105 into 100 2 lakh sales taking into consideration last year's rate gross profit just now we have worked out gross profit which is 50% of sales so 50% of 2 lakhs is 1 lakhs by closing stock balancing figure 1 lakh 20000 this is nothing but stock as on the date of fire 1 lakh 20000 now see here calculation of claim stock as on the date of fire 1 lakh 20000 but this is as per last year's figure current year there is 10% increase in purchase rate so add 10% which is 12000 10% of 1 lakh 20000 net figure is 132000 deduct salvage stock 4000 so claim amount is 128000 now in this particular question policy amount is not given so average clause cannot be applied this is how claim is to be worked out now we'll see one more question illustration 30 a fire occurred in the premises of sri g venkatesh on 1st april 13 and a considerable part of stock was destroyed the stock salvaged was 28000 sri venkatesh had taken a fire policy for 171000 this figure is wrong 17 lakhs 10000 is wrong it should be 1 lakh 71000 this is the policy amount to cover the loss of stock by fire you are required to ascertain the insurance claim which the company should claim from the insurance company for the loss of stock by fire the following particulars are available purchases for the year 2012 9 ,38 ,000. 38000 sales for the year 2012 11 ,60 ,000. 60000 purchases from 1113 to 1413 that is till the date of fire 182000 sales from 1113 to 1413 240000 24000 24, is wrong figure stock on 1112 144000 stock on 31st december 12 242000 wages paid during 2012 1 lakh wages paid from 1113 to 1413 18000 sri venkatesh had in june 12 consigned goods worth 50000 which unfortunately were lost in an accident since there was no insurance cover taken the loss had to be borne by him full stock at the end 
of each year for and till the end of calendar year 2011 had been valued at cost less 10%. from 2012 however there was a change in valuation of closing stock which was ascertained by adding 10% to its cost so this is the case of undervaluation and overvaluation of stock till the end of calendar year 2011 that is till 31st december 11 that is 1112 the stock was valued at cost less 10% and from 2012 the stock was valued at adding 10% to its cost so you have to be very very careful here rate of gross profit is not given so you have to prepare trading account find out gross profit ratio and then prepare memorandum trading account trading account for the year ended 31st december 12 to opening stock 160000 see here opening stock is given as 144000 but it was valued at cost less 10% so we have to work out the correct figure 144000 divided by 90 into 100 this is the actual cost of stock they had undervalued it so we have rectified it to purchases 938000 which is given to wages 1 lakh which is given by sales 116000 that is also given by stock lost by accident 50000 see here consigned goods worth 50000 unfortunately lost in an accident so this is to be credited to trading account by closing stock closing stock 242000 which was ascertained by adding 10% to its cost so this is the case of overvaluation so we'll find out the correct figure of this 242000 divided by 110 into 100 220000 is the cost of closing stock actual cost of closing stock now gross profit 232000 this is balancing figure once you get gross profit find out gross profit ratio gross profit divided by sales into 100 232000 divided by 116000 into 100 gross profit ratio is 20% now we'll prepare memo random trading account in that 220000 will consider as opening stock this is memo random trading account from 1113 till the date of fire to opening stock 2 lakh 20000 to purchases 1 lakh 82000 which is given to wages 18000 this is also given by sales 2 lakh 40000 to gross profit 20% of sales just now we have worked out 20% of 2 lakh 40000 48000 by closing stock 2 lakh 28000 this is balancing figure 2 lakh 28000 stock as on the date of fire stock destroyed minus stock salvaged 2 lakhs now see what is policy amount policy amount is 1 lakh 71000 whereas stock as on the date of fire is 2 lakh 28000 policy is lesser than cost of stock as on the date of fire so this is the case of under insurance so average clause is applicable use the formula loss of stock 2 lakhs multiplied by amount of policy 1 lakh 71000 divided by stock at the date of fire which is 2 lakh 28000 so claim to be lost with insurance company is rupees 1 lakh 50000 in this particular video we have seen how to prepare memorandum trading account how to apply average clause how to calculate claim by solving three illustrations thank you